As some of you may know, Prime Minister Modi is a vegetarian. So we asked Chef Nina Curtis, a plant-based pioneer, to work with our White House chefs and create a stunning vegetarian menu. Guests will have the option to add fish to the main course as well, if they choose. Tomorrow night, guests will walk across the South Lawn into a pavilion draped in rich greens with saffron colored flowers at every table, the colors of the Indian flag. And on the transparent sides, these colors and the strength of the heritage they represent frame the iconic scenery and symbols of our nation, our democracy, and our history. The White House and the Washington Monument. Inside each table arrangement is warm and unique. We hope guests feel as if someone has set that table just for them, because we have. Alongside Chef Chris, Executive Chef Chris Comerford, and Executive pastry chef Susie Morrison, we have curated a menu that really showcases the best in American cuisine, also then seasoned with Indian elements and flavors. As a native Californian, my ancestry runs deep there, but my parents were very, very instrumental in my foodscape and how I identified food. I grew up with eth ethnic diversity, rich cultural influences, and fusion food. My dad a chef, and my mom a great cook, really exposed me to the diversity of flavor, textures, and taste. Throughout my culinary career, I have witnessed the remarkable power that food has as an equalizer. A meal lovingly prepared and shared has an enchanting ability to transcend differences, forge connections, and strengthen bonds. Tomorrow's dinner encapsulates this philosophy as we serve this curated menu that allows guests from both countries to experience something of the other's culture. It's summertime. It's my favorite season as a chef because there's this bounty of fruits and vegetables that I get to share with you. They are light, they're refreshing, they're satisfying, and yes, satiating. So this is what we're going to be celebrating. We're also very excited that India is leading efforts to celebrate International Year of the Millets, and we've incorporated millets, marinated millets, into our menu and weaved Indian cuisine elements throughout the menu.